Yes, I need a root canal. So like six months ago, um, one of my old fillings fell out of my tooth and so I was left with a hole in my tooth six months ago. And it never hurt or anything. All it was was a hole in my tooth and I felt perfectly fine and I thought I could just ignore it and everything would be okay. So now I am three months pregnant and three days ago my tooth started hurting. So the pain got really bad really fast. Last night it was like extremely bad. I cried myself to sleep last night. And so then I realized and my husband realized and kind of convinced me that I just had to finally see a dentist. Um, so six months ago when my feeling fell out I didn't go to see a dentist because I don't have any dental coverage and I just have had really bad experiences with dentists or maybe just one in particular and I just never wanted to go back to a dentist because I felt like it was such a waste of money um, but yeah so we decided that I had to actually finally see a dentist so uh, this morning I just kind of put out a call on Facebook and asked for recommendations for good dentists in the city and then the first message I got is like, okay, I'm gonna call that dentist. And then I ended up having an appointment with him an hour later. So yeah, I went to the dentist and he had to take an x-ray. He said he had to take an x-ray just to really see what it was, if it was what he thought it was. And it turns out it was, it is what he thought it was, which was, which is an abscess. So I have an abscess tooth. So the cavity that fell out um, just sort of, or the filling, sorry, the filling that fell out um, just sort of became infected in an abscess. So yeah, so he told me I have two options, either take the whole tooth out or get a root canal. So I found this all uh, like a little bit odd, but at the same time I suppose I should have known better because my filling fell out six months ago but seriously from the time it fell out I had a whole six months of zero pain and then all of a sudden I was pregnant well not all of a sudden because I've been pregnant for three months now but now that I'm pregnant it decides to be so painful so I looked into it um, and apparently in pregnancy a lot of women experience dental issues um, and the reason for that is, I guess there could be a few reasons. So one is that the increase of hormones, progesterone and estrogen, affect the way that your gums react to plaque. Um, and so this kind of, I don't know if this gives you more plaque or what it is, but your gums just react differently to plaque and so it's much easier to kind of get infections due to plaque. And I think for me, because I already had a hole there, even though I was trying to clean out the hole as much as I could, it, it, it probably wasn't getting completely clean just because it was, it's, it's a deep hole and there's no like toothbrush or anything made to really fit in that hole and clean it out properly. Um, so yeah, increase in hormones is one thing. Another thing is the increase in blood flow. So the blood flow in your mouth can cause a lot of gum inflammation. And when your gums are inflamed, it's easier for the plaque to get trapped under the gums. And I'm sure it could cause other problems too. And then a third reason for dental problems during pregnancy can be due to vomiting. And so when you vomit, there's so much, um, it's, it's a really strong acid and that can kind of degrade your teeth a little bit as well. Then there is the old wives tale or the saying that um, during pregnancy you gain a child but you lose a tooth. So I think it is very common for a lot of women to have dental issues during pregnancy. So I do kind of wish that I knew this before. Obviously if I would have known six months ago that this filling that fell out would turn into me needing a root canal, then I definitely would have dealt with it a lot sooner because if it fell out 
or when it fell out back then, I would have been able to just basically get another filling done and that would have cost a lot less money and been a lot less of an issue. But because I have my own personal issues with dentists and I don't have my own dentist for that reason, and I don't have any dental coverage, that's why I just never went to a dentist. But now I'm kind of in the position where I don't really have another option. So my dentist told me, basically those were my options, and he said that I cannot not do anything because this infection in my tooth, in the root in my tooth, is growing and growing. It's not gonna just suddenly turn around and stop growing and heal itself. Um, it's just gonna get worse and worse and he said that especially because I'm pregnant that it's important, well it's important anyways, but it's important for me and for the baby to not have this infection brewing in my body because it can get into my bloodstream and everything as well. So, he actually does have me on antibiotics as well and so this is this is just crazy because I haven't had any antibiotics or any prescription drugs or anything like that for so long and and it's just it's just so crazy because before I became pregnant I thought that I would be my healthiest when I became pregnant I thought that you know I definitely wasn't gonna take any drugs yesterday or last night I had to take a Tylenol, just one extra strength Tylenol because my mouth hurt so bad and like before I became pregnant I was like no I'm not going to take any medication obviously that's not what I do I'm not going to take a Tylenol because if there's any pain I can handle it like I just thought it would be so much more different than it is um, I'm not actually too upset about it because each time something co like this comes up I research it and then all the research tells me like it's all right like the baby's kind of protected in its little safe little bubble and everything's gonna be fine but it's just so crazy how I thought my pregnancy would be one thing would be like just super healthy super natural all that stuff and now it's it's totally not so one of my uh, very good friends had her first baby two years ago and um, she loved her pregnancy. She told me she loved being pregnant because it's the, th the healthiest she's ever felt. And she told me that I was probably going to feel the same, that I would love my pregnancy and you know all this stuff. But honestly, I, I've never felt this sickly before. Like it just seems like there's always something coming up. The very beginning of the pregnancy, I got a cold and like I never, I never get sick. I don't remember the last time I got sick and then all of a sudden I got a cold. And now it's like, I don't know, a few weeks ago my jaw started hurting and now like this tooth is actually abscess and I'm gonna need a root canal. And it's just so different than what I pictured it to be. Um, at the same time, I wonder if things like these happen during pregnancy to kind of prepare you for life after pregnancy because as you can maybe probably can tell I'm a little bit you could say maybe a control freak when it comes to my body and my health so maybe all of this is sort of a lesson for me to let go of that I don't know, I can only hope that it's just some sort of lesson and I'm not actually, you know, sickly and dying over here with all of these weird sicknesses that keep popping up. So anyways guys, that, that is what happened today. I found out that I need a root canal. It's just not what I expected for the pregnancy, but like I said, maybe this is just a lesson in 
learning to let go and learning to accept and not having so much control over um, the physical aspects of say my body or whatever it might be all the time um, so yeah anyways guys that is all I had to update you on um, and I guess and I guess maybe it's a little bit of a warning to you as well that um, if you're starting to feel any tooth pain then and you're pregnant as well then it could be you know it could be more serious than it would have been before you were pregnant so the sooner you can get that stuff checked out might be the better so I hope all of you are doing very well with your pregnancies. Um, obviously this is a time where there are lots of ups and downs, not just with our emotions, but um, with actual things that are happening in our lives too. Uh, I love talking to you guys, so please subscribe so we can keep in touch and comment below. Um, and I will talk to you again very soon. Thank you so much for watching. See you later. Bye.